Hey guys, this will be a quick video talking through some of the contents of this Outer Limit Supply first aid kit. It's designed to be just a really convenient grab and go, heavy duty and durable um, method of transporting this portable first aid kit. It's geared a little bit more towards like outdoors, camping, off-roading type things. Um, heavy duty case, waterproof, fairly crush proof, dust proof. It's not Pelican case, but it's basically the same thing. It's from a company called S3 Cases. Um, but you can see it's decently sized, fairly compact for how much stuff is actually in here. You can see from the thumbnail of the video, inside the cover shows a little inventory list of what comes in the kit. So I'll zoom in on that picture, um, post that either in the description or somewhere in the video. So straight off the label on the inside of the lid, this Day Tripper is the this variant that um, you see on the video. They have a couple different sizes, but specifically this one's the Day Tripper. Um, this kit exceeds the ANSIISEA -E standards for the Class A4 kit as sold. Um, it contains quality for sale components, which meet the performance specifications detailed in the standard. Um, I'll show a zoomed up picture of the actual inventory um, somewhere in the video and I'll post it in the description but quickly go through everything one by one just pull it out so you can see how much is actually packed in here and the general quality of uh, stuff that they include. So this is just a CPR mask, CPR barrier, a couple antibacterial hand sanitizers. Uh, this is a padded splint. It's basically like a SAM splint instead of just being rolled up it's uh, folded flat but it's moldable flexible aluminum with a little foam in, in the um, back side so you can change the shape as appropriate for whatever use you need it for. These syringes don't come in the kit. This is just something else that I added. There was a little bit extra space so for like wound irrigation or whatever else um, found some space in here to include those. Um, some waterproof adhesive tape, some more medical tape, and a little two inch thing of rolled gauze to go with that. Uh, foil mylar rescue blanket for like hypothermia type of issues. A tactical tourniquet. This is like eye cleaning, eye irrigation solution for any sort of eye injury. Or if you get something stuck in your eye, it's not a huge um, amount, but it's better than nothing. After that, we've got a metal tweezers and a metal set of scissors, cold pack, some eye pads to go along with the eye cleaning solution, some wound wipes, there's 10 of them in there, and there's actually four, um, four pads and four st adhesive strips, so it's not just a single or, or even just a pair of iPads. Um, some burn gel with aloe vera. Triangular bandages. Medical gloves. Some insta glucose for like uh, diabetic type emergencies. Some kind of emergency last minute uh, SPF 30 sunscreen lotion. A big assortment of all sorts of different size bandages. Another small CPR AD basic first aid guide. This is a bigger sterile burn dressing um, for larger surface area burns or even really bad sunburns. A couple gauze pads Bigger surface area gauze pads, a little chem light glow stick, and then uh, this is their method of organizing the included medications. So they include this little label you can fill out for uh, any personal information that you want to include in case somebody else were to get a hold of the kit and need to know important information about you. But um, the medications included, like I said, 
it gives you the name, the number, and what it's used for. So aspirin, cetaphin, diotame, exaprin, histoprin, ibuprofen, medialyte, medimezacline, medimeclizine, and instaglucose. And then, like, those, like I said, those numbers correlate with where everything is located in here. So it's a little waterproof Ziploc, uh, resealable Ziploc that you can easily get to and keep track of when things are expiring. Um, it's a lot harder to lose all these little packets when they're organized like this in a waterproof Ziploc like that than if they're all just loose in the kit getting stuck between the other boxes. The kit is a little bit expensive, but this is at least an idea of how you could build your own kit. If you go somewhere like Harbor Freight and get a similarly sized waterproof, dustproof um, box like this, the orange makes it hard to lose and also maybe draws your attention to the fact that it's a first aid kit. Uh, we don't have to do orange. Um, and if you want to do a more thorough kit, then you can obviously get a bigger storage container. But if you're looking for something convenient that's already put together, I think this is a great option.